let's take a look at what Google I.O. had to offer. Lambda. It's a language model for dialogue applications. Hey, I was wondering, have you ever had any visitors? Yes, I have had some. The most notable was New Horizons, the spacecraft that visited me. And yes, it kept going. They started to also introduce MUM. But let's take a look at what Flutter announced, which is Flutter 2.2. And they started out with that Flutter is now the most popular framework for cross-platform development. And a lot of focus has been on improvement on the development experience to deliver more reliable and performant apps. One way to achieve this is that they now have sound null safety on by default. And you can see here when I create a new project that I have sound null safety on as I'm using now Flutter 2.2. So another thing that they have had focus on is performance improvements. So here are some new features for the dev tools. It's now easier to understand how memory is allocated as well as they have now support for third party tools and extensions. So we'll probably see a lot more cool things in the dev tools soon. For web, they also now have background caching using service workers. For Android, they have support for deferred components. And iOS, they have tooling to pre-compile shaders to eliminate that first yank issue. Deferred components on Android will reduce the APK size as you during runtime will be able to download Dart code and assets. Another thing they talked about was monetization. And they have some updates to the Ads SDK for adaptive banner formats. They also announced Google Pay support. So now you can use the package to enable Google Pay on your apps. Moving on from specifically Flutter, we have Dart 2.13, which now supports array and packed structs in FFI and type aliases. So now you can finally make your own int list type. They also announced a Docker image as well as a GitHub action for installing Dart SDK. They also talked about the growth of a broader ecosystem around Flutter and how the Adobe XD plugin has been updated. We also have alpha support for universal Windows platform apps. And of course, they also announced that we soon have support for Material U, which is the new design language for Android 12. 